that's what they do now the right swipe and left swipe that kind of date when you go you of course you <laughs> of course you check out people after gen z what letters to khatam ho gaye ab kya and yeah. he would not do a film if i don't like the film i didn't like the film cuz my father was who he was i was so scared overrated yeah animal i'll go for that <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Madhvi, and today I am with Sutapa Sikdar and Babil Khan. You got her name right. Of course. Uh, no, everyone calls her Sutapa. It's Sutapa, right? Am I right? Yeah. So no. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's you said it so emphatically that I got. People get your name wrong. Yeah. So the show is called Talking Stage. and i have to ask you whether you guys know what talking stage is and i'll just hold on that for you but yeah i want to know if you know what talking stage is it's a gen z term i don't know but i can guess i'm great at making phrases so i'm sure the talking stage is uh, when you take up the stage by talking no <laughs> <laughs> no 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 okay now you talking stage is that see you're not as no. gen z as i think <laughs> they think i'm not gen z at all i don't know why they keep calling me gen so z so basically talking stage talking stage i'll tell you no mama talking stage is when you like somebody yeah. but you can't ah you're just stuck at a ah, place okay <laughs> like friendship not friendship we don't know what to do we just are so yeah, yeah, just yeah, talking yeah. yeah you're just talking oh and then yeah. she moves on yeah not so necessarily <laughs> no huh and i have a bunch of other ones which i'm very interested to actually throw at you yeah uh what do you think simping means oh my Whoa. god i'm the biggest simp in the world this is the most wrong game to play with me because i'm an old school nostalgic still lives in poetry and novel i don't even browse my phone so that's it's very you, love it that's, that's, that's why you so that's why you are sane because this is like i wouldn't know but see i i can guess Guess, guess. I just want you to guess. I can I give you a hint? Yeah. No, I can't. No, no. Give, give me a hint. I have to put it. Okay, to... being lazy. No. Oh no. No, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, now. See, uh, no, no. You say. Nothing. It's just when nothing else is visible but your partner. Oh, that's. Yeah, like just being overly nice to this person who doesn't really reciprocate your feelings. Yeah. Per se. Yeah. And she. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You're just being like nice, like you know, like. Mm, but <laughs> even what if you don't care? Yeah, and they they don't really care, so they call you a simp. So you're a you're simp for them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The next. Can I ask you what guftagu means? Guftagu means baatein. Yeah. Good one. Chai. Yeah. <laughs> I am not Gen Z either. So <laughs> <of course. laughs> uh, and another one is uh, data view. Data view. Yeah, data view. So it's all about data. No. <laughs> If both of you all don't know, I I find it really funny. Can I ah, just? Okay. Wait, yeah. How many? Can. Why are there so many? Like, English me come phrases. What happened? Like. I think people just don't want to like talk in full sentences anymore. Why? And try. To they don't have time. And labeling seems to be the new thing. So. Or maybe they're trying to figure out. They find everything boring these days. That's why they surf yeah. on the you know internet. Like they yeah. won't stop by. But data view basically means huh? when you have gone out on a date. And you're being questioned like it's a job interview oh. rather than like romantic oh. gestures or flirting oh. or something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But that's what they do, na? The right swipe and left swipe. That kind of date when you go, you of course, you, <laughs> of course, you check out people. And I mean, check out in yeah, the sense. Yeah, it, it's normal. Yeah, right? it's normal. It's normal. Yeah. yeah because How can you thinking. just be romantic and looking at somebody for going for a first date? Come yeah, on. Yeah. Of course, I want to yeah. ask where you live, what yeah. you do, everything. Yeah. I want everything to know. Everything you yeah. would want to know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And this is okay, the most not fun one. Okay. De Lulu is the Sululu. What? De Lulu is the Sululu. Yeah. Sululu must be the solution. But yeah. Uh, right. Uh, delusion is the solution. <laughs> She got it right. See, I got it right. That's what happened just now. It's basically uh. <laughs> some sort of. From what I can gather, I think it's some sort of coping mechanism. Yeah. yeah. Where. Is being deluded is like the solution. solution. Yeah. Because you can't really do anything about yeah. the reality of the situation or something like that. Okay. Situationship. Oh. oh. So it is a situation where uh, it's a situation. That's why where it can't be a relationship, uh, but it is a situation uh, which you are just like how you look at a situation whether it's right or wrong or whatever, whatever. But you are still in that. 
she's got it she's got it you 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 she's got, got it. the 80% of, it. of it but, but it's, that's the idea just though. throw in romance and say ki we more than friends but no relationship but yeah. like so she's you crazy. you guys are giving names to the layers that's the yeah thing. Layers. labels Huh. Yeah, and yeah. no, and not they're not nice, but I'm sorry to say. I think it's very traumatizing. Yeah, situation ship traumatized. No, I mean even to bifurcate a relationship into a situation ship, a relationship, it's too much. Why can't it be just ishq? It's mohabbat, then it becomes ishq, and then it becomes you know. So this is so much more beautiful. And this owns and everything. Owns and everything, and everything. And everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when you surrender, there's a sense of surrender. Ye kya situation ship, relationship, whatever ship, then they drive in a ship. Anyway, <laughs> do you have anything to add to that? No, did you just? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you yeah. think I need to? No, no, no. I think I we, think we should just. Perfect. Yeah. And benching. So you're with someone, but you're benching somebody else. As a backup. Oh, oh like if this doesn't God. work out, I like that's I'm what I'm trying to explain to you. This person there. This is entire. This is why. It's like the substitutes in our team. It's that. Yeah. I think it's that. Yeah. It's really derogatory. No, it's very it sad. It is. It is. It is very sad. But uh, moving on, congratulations on the railway men. Oh, thank you. And Kala, which we saw you for the first time, and we were all very, very happy. Um, amazing performances, and you ate and left no crumbs, as Gen Z is saying it. How do you tell me what that means now? Like. You, Because, yeah. yeah, you finish the whole bit and there are not even crumbs left on it. You know, like it's wiped clean. Like it was that nice. I like swear. you killed it. Yeah, you killed it. So, how are you responding to all of that love, and how are you coping with it? It's so difficult to answer this question. It's not because there are you don't have words to encapsulate a feeling that big. All I can say is that uh, there is a sense of um, when people used to come to me earlier, they used to be like, "I'm such a big fan of your father's work, and I love your father," and it became like an automatic response. Like I was like, if somebody's walking up to me, they're like, "Oh, they love my father's work," and suddenly one was like, "Bro, watch Railway Man. I love your work." That switch. What's it's a that? very yeah. It's a feeling that you can't encapsulate into words. It's a feeling that gives you. A sense of purpose and a sense of belonging. Yeah. So to have gratitude for that is, you know, immeasurable. I don't know how much it meant to him, but it meant a a huge relief for me. It was as if I was on a on a space where people are judging me. Did you upbring the child well? How is he going to perform? And as if I passed. <laughs> so. It's all about you. And so. Yeah, to me it was all about me. Yeah, that was all about you, Mama. <laughs> and about you, you wrote Kahani, Madari, and you know, sub and films. The Kahani spe specifically has been still celebrated so vastly, yeah. and so. So <laughs> how do you? How did you do all of that? And how did you? Be so low key about all of that. But also, she was doing that while Baba was shooting, and I was throwing a tantrum about not doing a homework. Even while more amazing. Writing. Yeah, exactly. No, what uh, what is? I actually I had a more much bigger arc because I started as a professional. I got married a little late. I had my kids also very late, so I had a full fledged, uh, you know, career. And I actually started writing. Uh, I my first project actually was not Kahan. It was Kamoshi, which was Sanjay Leela Bhansali's oh, first yes, film yes, as so well. Yeah. Uh, so uh, then I wrote a show called Banegi Apni Baat, which ran for five years in Zee Television. At that time, we had a weekly, mm. and so th there was only one writer writing that. So I wrote all those 365 episodes. So, but the fact is, almost when it was like. He came and I was still writing. So I wrote on the last day before going to the labor room. So I we have a clear photograph. I think Babil shared once with I'm like pregnant like and I'm writing. So from there to uh, not doing anything, I there was a phase when I didn't do anything because I personally felt my kids. Uh, needed that attention because uh, Irfan was started becoming very busy. We are a nuclear family. We don't have a joint family, and I left work by choice. He always many people have asked me. Your son says that you have sacrificed. Believe me, I have not sacrificed. I did it out of my choice, and um, I just couldn't bear that my children are been um, brought up by just a staff. 
you know so because i wanted to tell them what is right and wrong and you need to have time to tell your kid what is right and what is wrong yeah. so it's very important that the family is should be together looking after each other then who is doing what and who is being more careerist and are you you know i am not like It's amazing and as as it should be because so many women feel very guilty about yeah, yeah. and I neither do I feel guilty nor do I feel small does that have like an influence on the films that he does and like do you sort of like guide him around it that you know in the decision making process uh do you have that influence on him or do you guys discuss this yeah that is a 24/7 job with him like I'm a hand on mother. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> so I really look at like uh, because that's you know I have been from that uh, you know from that background and uh, I uh, even with Irfan I used to read every script which came Yeah because me. of that of course like yeah, for experience and he would, would yeah, too, yeah and he would not do a film if I don't like the film. I didn't like the film. But also for me it's, now you know <laughs> it's just enjoyable yeah. to be honest I because I missed out on working with Baba I could have you know done so much more so yeah. that lesson was learned when he passed you know so I'm just it's if she wants to be a part of everything please yeah and did you like did you know that he always wanted to be an actor or there was something else that you want that he wanted to do no. or i didn't know that he wanted to be an actor because i thought he could also be a, he he's very ta- sorry to say but i'm not being humble he's very talented so i could uh, i he could be a musician he could write uh, he was very good at sports he was very good at cricket football everything so everything looked like he might pick this up as a as a career yeah Uh, so no, I was not, and honestly, I didn't want him to be an actor. So he went to the film school in London, and um, uh, then he showed interest, and uh, I was very scared because I don't know why. I feel. Do you know why? Why? Because this world is brutal. Yeah. You don't want your son. Yes, it uh, is, and it's becoming more brutal, more brutal every day. It's becoming more. People are like. like judgmental and people are as if they're not happy in their lives you know and i have heard very funnily that out of a uh, nice old clothes curtains sarees you have stitched in such clothes and you are now looked at as this gen z internet fashion sensation and you know there's so much around that so how do you why like gen sort of z though why can i not just be a fashion statement without okay, a generation okay then be fashion statement i take my i choose tell me one thing back. after gen z what letters to khatam ho gaye ab kya i am a millennial i am happy i have even i am a millennial i have grown up and i'm very happy with being older and wiser <laughs> so yeah. but yeah with the younger crowd you are a sensation fashion wise hmm. and uh, i see a lot of internet chatter around it how do you feel about that me yeah mama how do you feel about that i i knew he would be very good at it always yeah because yeah because see he essentially since a childhood na he was an entertainer like i can give you i'll tell you one example like we were in london not london us and um, there was this park where everybody would get their kids hardly speak he could hardly speak i think i didn't listen. know i couldn't speak english or uh-huh. he couldn't speak english at that time and so but look at this boy in 3 days the parents were very relaxed talking to each other because he was entertaining the whole bunch he was dancing and i don't know what he was doing i mean you know something or the other so i know that somebody who has this power to attract people without really and who's unabashed about it and inhibited about it he has to become very uh, experimental in fashion yeah you know and i have been very experimental in fashion but honestly like it's not like I, she taught me but it's just watching her growing up right mm. so like you you pick up things you don't realize you're picking up you're constantly absorbing yeah yeah so that's the, that's why when we when we judging people we must also consider the fact that he's not making the choice or she's not whoever the person is they're not making that choice consciously yeah. and they have been through a series of conditionings that they were not aware of yeah you yeah. know what i mean like, yeah yeah uh, you have this really beautiful relationship with the paps 
uh, and you know they love you you're very responsive to them you're talking I'm about to them, that maybe. and so you know how did it feel for you like the first time just like how and how did that go there they are not brought up like star kids you know they are not like that so being with a star for anybody or anybody so perhaps were our extended family in that yeah, sense everybody so we it. were they were told and they were told and they have been brought up like that that they have that you cannot misbehave with anybody at home you know whoever comes mm. be it a paper wala be it a whatever mm. you know and when he faced these paps they were just people human beings exactly fellow beings what exactly is star i don't understand that huh yeah mama that's what i wanted to say <laughs> And how would you describe him in a romantic relationship? Like you oh. think that he would do for his go dates? for it, mama. Go for it. And you know, mm. yeah, you all want to know about that, I guess. Yeah, go for it. I think go for it. No, actually, say the truth. Go for it. No, no. One second. Uh, I think uh, the I think he's a very very romantic person, and I think he is a very uh, caring person. So, but. Uh, I think he somewhere would is a giver. <laughs> sorry, I'm a sorry. Simp. She's describing a sim. <laughs> But uh, it's good to be a sim. Uh, yeah. So that he is gets consumed in that giving part, which makes sometimes the mother get worried that you know, <laughs> are you getting also or you're just giving? That's about it. But he's a very romantic guy. Very and very any romantic. Cheesy things that he does, which 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 have caught your eye, and you were like, oh my god, so cheesy, but like also so cute. Yeah, no. No, I don't think she bashes me for those cheesy things. No, no. Th- can you not be original? <laughs> no, no. I don't think he does cheesy things at all. He can write songs for that person or he can sing for that person all the time. But what's your love language? Like all A love language? What do you mean by that? In what language do you like to be loved in? Some some people are very physical and touch is their love language. Some people it's cooking and mm-hmm. feeding. Mm-hmm. their partner so what's your love language which is pretty much like it has been she there she said giving okay so just like being so yeah just surrendering yeah. yourself right like surrendering yourself to the other person that's 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 language. your love language yeah. and how do you want to be loved like when you are with someone i need affection i really like i'm of i need affection Did you always want to become an art actor, or did you just join in because your father was such a big? No, no, actor. that was the reason why I was not act, uh, confronting confronting the field of acting because my father was who he was. I was so scared. No, I if I tell myself that I shouldn't feel the pressure and I shouldn't feel this, I shouldn't feel that. One mentally, I will feel double that. If I try to escape from it and tell myself that everything's all right and. in that confusion get in the state of comfort comfort as henry cavill said right comfort is where dreams go to die because i am becoming more and more comfortable with being uncomfortable because i just growth only happens when you are not comfortable yeah. you know when you feel like you have to make a change within yourself and when you have to grow that's so yeah i feel terrified but I look at the fear in the eyes and I'm like come at me. You have also mentioned that your father was a better father than he was an actor. And yeah, imagine that. <laughs> yeah, so for us to imagine that is so could you share something that I've never laughed like that. But recently, right? Like I just don't find things that funny anymore and there's this sense of um There's a huge void of laughter. I have never found a friend or made a friend or I don't think I will ever I'll keep myself open to that possibility but yeah I just never ever had a friend like him. Do you ever did you ever think that good parenting is actually like really tough at times? And like was he a rebel or like what yeah, how, was, how was that te- the teenage years that all sent years? He was a rebel. <laughs> Uh, see the be- the fortunate part is which i don't have right now the privilege of when there are two parents one can play good cop and one can play bad cop 
so I was the bad cop always. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so you know, and conveniently, so his father made me the bad cop also. <laughs> so because I always used to say, you always want to be on their good books, so I am the bad cop. Yeah. You know. Imagine now, because now I have to play good cop and bad cop both together, and that's the most difficult thing I am right now. Uh, finding it and I, it's really really difficult so we are going to move on to our next segment which is called pinky promise okay. yeah i'm going to ask some things mm. and if you don't answer you have to take a shot mm. of the that? aloe vera gel thingy that we have going it's aloe vera it's juice aloe vera actually <laughs> no no i think it's Can aloe vera juice <laughs> yeah but maybe yeah, it it'll work the same on your face as well so uh, but if you do I have to take a shot. Don't oh, yeah. and you like it or you don't like I it? I have never tried it, so we must all find out our tolerances. No, today. I'm saying if you don't like it, then we'll answer everything. Oh. <laughs> I'll be more than happy to have that. <laughs> so anyway, tell. Okay, so this is hmm. for both of you. No. An overrated show or a film in recent times? I haven't Overrated. Yeah. Animal. A role in recent years, you think you could do better? Imadriyas in Railway Men. No, you don't need to. Why? You've answered. <laughs> You've answered. No? I thought we were doing some healthy stuff together. Hmm. If only. Yeah. Hmm. A co-star you wouldn't want to work with again? <laughs> and really act bad. It's really bad. Like. Mm-hmm. An actor whose filmography you find repetitive. Because <laughs> <laughs> she knows. It's very good. Is that a filter? <laughs> I'll go for that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's bad. It's mm. really bad. It's bad. <laughs> okay, so the last one. Let's see who gets the last piece of the brownie. A movie that didn't need the promotions. It did. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's a good question. I know, but I can't answer that one. Okay, guys. Mm. That... <laughs> and now moving on to our rapid fire round. It's gonna be nice, quick, and easy, and I am expecting fiery answers from you. Sorry, we are all over our juice in my stomach. It has calm you. It has pieced out your cheek. Yeah. So, but it's okay. Get your spunk back. Mm. Uh, what would you like to steal from the following co-stars? Tripti Dimri. Her uh, kindness. Okay, Juhi Chawla. Grace. Oh. Oh, her grace. Yeah. K K Menon. Gen- generosity. R Madhavan. Cool factor. Oh, nice. Yeah, I I think the same too. One thing you hate being asked about in interviews, and this is for both. Oh, oh, congratulations on your new project. How are you feeling about the love? <laughs> and you, ma'am. How Sorry. are you feeling, ma'am, that your son's film is released? <laughs> <laughs> if someone offered you a box with everything you have ever lost, what's the first thing you would look for? Both of you. I would look for my uh, first day of my identity card of NST, National School of Drama. Oh, so nice. <laughs> That's a good one. You? I would look for the freedom that I used to feel when I was 21. Ah. When was the last time you cried and why? Both of you. Abhi photo shoot mein. Oh. Bhut aa jata hai na aansu. And ma'am you? I cried yesterday night. We cry very often. We are cry babies. Very healthy, I must say. <laughs> no, as an actor you have to also like be able to cry like. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. I think a good cry helps you a lot clarity. Like you know clarifies your mind. If you are the DJ at a party and it's 4 a.m. and now you have to end the night with one bollywood song which one would it be lag jaga le ha ab main mera main apna opinion to mera ho sakta hai nahi nahi bilkul ho sakta matlab mixed version of lag jaga le nahi lag jaga original version and i'm you what would you go for i mostly don't know what they play these days <laughs> no but if it, it if it was up to you and you are in charge and the night sending and you're like one last song all mine ta ja ja main hu pyar tera So that's a good one. Lag Jaga is actually a really good song if you think about it. Yeah. If you think about it. And now because of all the playfulness you guys have given us, we want to give you a gift. It is a hamper. And okay. I think you guys will like what is what's inside it. And would you like to open it and see what they have given you? Yes. 
Mama, look. Mama, Mama, look. Why is, why is the flower turning towards you? Because I'm the sun. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh. Peanut butter, like, thank you. That's my fitness peanut butter. And thank this is so Pebble much. Elevate calling smartwatch. Oh, nice. Nice. Guys, I think macaroon smartwatches. I made sure that I had to have to get your name right with your surname. <laughs> Thank you so much you for so being much. a part of our show. Thank this you so lovely. much for yeah, having you guys. us. You guys were so much fun. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, I'm Babel. Shitapa. Madhvi. And we are here at Talking Stage. Please like, share and subscribe to Diva. Keep coming back for more to Talking Stage. <laughs> <laughs>